Hello everyone. Welcome back to BTNX channel. Today we are going to see how we can perform debugging and exception handling in Python with the help of GitHub Copilot chat. This Diwali, skyrocket your career by learning AI tools and chat GPT. I am going to teach you that. Click on the link below and sign up for the workshop. Okay, so let's do with an example. Okay, I will tell what is exception handling and I will tell what is debugging. Okay, so uh, now let's see how it is uh, we can debug a code. Okay, so debug means suppose in case uh, like I got some error. Okay, so how to find that here is the error? What is that value of that error? Or how the, uh, the error looks like? So these type of information we can uh, help from the debugging. It is like step-by-step -step operation. Okay, so that it, you will come to know how the program is executed. Okay, so we need to do some breakpoints and okay. So I am asking GitHub Copilot uh, Python code to accept two numbers from user and to perform division operation. Okay. Okay. So now the now this Python will give me okay. So this is ordinary. Yes, simple. Okay, division. So first let's perform ordinary division with the proper valid number and the division with a zero so that it will throw some uh, error and then we will come to know okay before that let's see how it is a uh, uh, step by step operation means because in debugging we need to know how the uh, bug goes step by step okay so now i am giving a run run without debugging i am giving okay so it is asking me enter the number first i am giving 10 the second number I am giving 5. So the result is 2. Division is 2. That is good. Okay. Now I am giving with some issue. Okay. Like uh, I want to bring some error. Okay. So or, or like uh, uh, run without debugging. Once again I will do. Okay. So I can enter the first number. I am giving 10. Now I am going to give 0. Okay. So that it should throw error. Or, okay, first I will do the debugging, the step by step execution part. Okay, so let's once again. I will give zero. Now I'm giving zero over here. So it is giving, see, because it is giving zero division error, float division by zero. Okay, it is giving, that means it has given some, uh, it cannot perform operation division by zero like that it is giving on error message this i can understand a techie can understand but how a non-techie will understand he need to give some proper error message right so that he should not fear there is some system error or he should not feel that it is something uh, beyond his uh, imagination so he should not be in a stumbling position okay so we will solve that thing before that i will uh, make how to debug it okay so for the debugging part like uh, I'm going over here, I'm run without debugging, okay? Now I'm going to use run without debugging. So I'll keep here also one check breakpoint, okay? Here also breakpoint means when it is executing, it will stop in that place, particular place, okay? So that uh, our executor, uh, we can easily see what is uh, uh, the exact issue. Because see, for example, an uh, num1 uh, num variable is there, num2 variable is there, Suppose if I'm giving a wrong variable, wrong uh, information, I can see where the wrong value is there and it will help the user to rectify it. Okay, for that purpose only okay, that is giving. Now let's uh, give, okay. First number I'm giving like uh, 10. Okay. So... Another like next number I'm giving two, division is zero. Okay, so now I'm giving now start debugging. Okay, now it is going to perform the debugging operation. Okay, actually, so you can see the here the screen got changed. Okay, because it will show all the variables present over here. Okay, so now these are the breakpoints. That means you can see I have set it actually. Okay, if you press, if you take means it will be removed. And if you press once again here, the breakpoint will be set. 
so when when i execute it you'll come to know okay so this is the place okay you can see continue means f5 you can press f5 or you can press over here okay now i'm pressing f5 it is asking me the number okay it is asking me a hey, enter the number i'm giving 10 okay now it has see from here it has came to here okay whatever i entered the number 10 the num1 is equal to 10 that variable whatever the value is st stored we can see it. why means we can see okay what is the exact value i gave so that i will come to know whether it, there is an issue or not okay then next i am going to give i need to press the next so I enter the second value i am giving 5 okay now i am pressing enter okay so now the point went to here okay the result okay that the variable result is float and uh, you can see the num1 okay the 10 is present over here you can see the 10 over here also and the num2 the 5 is here you can see the num2 5 over here also okay so now see this is the way we can see the uh, result how it is executed okay so now next i'll be pressing the continue okay so the result see we have got it 2.0 that is the result okay now like um, okay so if i next if i press enter the result will be displayed okay the result of the division is two okay now okay now i want to do some error in this part same okay pressing over here now i'm pressing 10 okay the next part And now I'm going to give zero. Okay. Zero means it should throw error. Okay. Now here it's not an issue. Okay. Now if I press the next part, right? Okay. See the exception has occurred. Zero division exception has occurred. Okay. You can see clearly the message. Okay. Earlier we have seen only the error over here, but now we can see why this thing has happened okay so now we need to handle this okay so i'll be going i'm closing this so now i need to give the proper because it has blocked over here okay so now i'm going to ask the github copilot chat to uh, find the issue okay so now okay. this we have got this issue okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this thing this is the issue right whatever you have seen I'm going to take this code. Okay. I'm going to copy it. Okay. And I'll go to this GitHub Copilot chat again. I'm making get got the below error for the above code. Can you modify the code with exception handling? Okay. Exception handling means like this type of issues, it will not come. Okay. It will give the error, but it will not be like uh, the system will be hanged or it, it won't uh, uh, stop abnormally. See, this thing, no one, this is, these are all system issues. Okay. System messages, these are all, it has been given by the system. I want my own message to uh, display, okay, so that the user will be understand and and I can understand, okay. So let me see. So it has got the thing, okay. So I am removing this part, okay. This also I am removing, and I am using here, okay. So now we got. So you all may be aware, right? What is uh, exception handling with the help of try? In the try uh, uh, syntax only, we'll be giving all our code. And in the except, this part we'll be giving in case of zero division error, right? Earlier we found, right, the zero division error here. If it comes, what message I should give? Okay, I am giving some other message. It, instead of following the GitHub copilot chat, I'm making, hey, buddy, I'm just for understanding, okay? Buddy? It's, I will make do not divide the number by zero.
or don't divide the number by zero okay so like this i'm giving the message okay so this this error message will be thrown instead of going forward if we get this issue okay so i am now now again i'm running i'm doing without debugging okay now enter the first number i am giving now same i am giving 30 okay you should not think why you i am always giving 10 i am giving different number 30 now i am giving 0 okay see whatever i gave this message right over here that message has come here hey buddy don't divide the number by 0 at least the user will understand okay or otherwise i will make uh, suppose for example he is a, a employer of some xyz company means i can put hey employee or hey buddy or hey, hey uh, development team uh, like uh, they will understand okay this is get developed from the, not from the system it is a user friendly error i should able to give this type of information like that okay so that is the advantage of uh, this okay so one more update I want to give guys. Okay, there's an important update. See, as you all aware, okay, that A is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI, and you don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? And well, AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours AI tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity, and enhance your career, okay? So make sure that your future is secure with us and join our workshop by clicking the link in the below description now, okay? And um, by if you click uh, the b10x.in, you will go to this page and go over this, our workshop, and uh, you can use this, uh, there are other workshops also, you can choose this AI tools, so it will land up in this page. So you will come to know all the details like when the next uh, uh, workshop and uh, what are the bonuses available and what are the uh, like uh, the reviews or the testimonials they have given and why you should join. So all these details will be there. Okay, guys. So make use of this course. And now let's do the same part with uh, debugging option okay so now i'm i will keep here the uh, like the chair breakpoints okay here also so how it is going okay how the flow is going we can see okay now i'll be going start debugging okay so the totally the the pan will be different actually here in the left pan okay so now i'm going to enter this so I enter the first number now i'll do ordinary thing okay I'm it in there. Yeah. So again, this part has come, the breakpoint has come over here. I'm entering here. Now the point is two. Sorry, not here. Here. Okay. See the the uh, the breakpoint is sitting over here. Okay. So you can see what is this because still it has not yet populated. Only after I press enter, whatever these two values will be present over here. Okay, so now if I press over here, you can see the see the result is five. Okay, and now it won't go into the exception part because we gave the right uh, uh, information, right? So it will end up. Okay, now again I'm running and debugging. Now I'm going to give the issue value. Okay, so again I'm going here. Continue. Enter the first number. I'm giving fifty. And then now it's come over here. Now I'm going to give zero. Sorry. I'm going to give zero. Still it is coming here, guys. Okay. Still it is coming here. Now you will see it won't go over here. It won't go here. It will directly go over here. It will come over here and it will perform this operation. Okay. Let's see. See? Now it has come over here. Okay. Now, if I next press one more thing, see it has given, hey buddy, don't divide the number by zero. Okay, because the second number is zero. Okay, you can see over here also on the left side. Okay, so now you know, right guys, how to debug and how to set the breakpoint. Because if you want to debug, you need to set the breakpoint. 
okay and you know how to handle the exception okay it is like a user friendly nature of uh, information you are providing to a uh, a coder so that because you are coding you are going to give it to some third party or some client the client may not be a tech savvy like you okay so he when he is entering the details it, he must understand okay i have done some wrong uh, uh, value and the information should correct him okay hey buddy or something please do not enter the uh, number of zero if if it is generated by the system information it will be difficult for him okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this session okay and i, I hope you liked it so keep watching and see you again take care guys bye bye